Fifty dollars in taxes. Sir, Any sir, wait, wait, no, sir. It's just. Two, yeah, I understand. You've agreed to the two minutes, so please let him have it. Do I get my time back. The fact is that he has, in fact, worked on this in a way that he could be the first president of the United States to leave office, having fewer jobs in his administration than when he became president. Fewer jobs. And when he became from first one in American history. Secondly, the people who have lost their jobs are those people who have been on the front lines, those people who have been saving our lives, those people who have been out there dying, people who have been putting themselves in a way to make sure that we could all try to make it. And the idea that he is insisting that we go forward and open when you have almost half the states in America with a significant increase in COVID deaths and COVID cases in the United States of America and he wants to open it up more why does he want to open it up why doesn't he take care of the America you can't fix the economy until you fix the COVID crisis and he has no intention of doing anything about making it better for you all at home in terms of your health and your safety schools why are schools open because it costs a lot of money to open them safely you know they, they were going to give his administration to give the teachers and school students masks and then they decided no couldn't do that because it's not not a national emergency, not a national emergency. They've done nothing to help small businesses, nothing. They're closing. One in six is now gone. We ought to get on the job and take care of the needs of the American people so we can't open safe. Your time is up, sir. Well, you're going to get to it. I'm going to respond to this. But you both had two minutes, sir. Excuse me, you made a statement. I'm sorry. People are in this business. People are in this business. People are in this business. They don't want to be shut down. They don't want their state shut down. They want their lessons. I look at New York. It's so sad what's happening. It's almost like a ghost town, and I'm not sure it can ever recover what they've done in New York. People want.